Welcome to an application problem of a radical equation involving kinetic energy. One way to measure the amount of energy that a moving object such as a car or roller coaster possesses is by finding its kinetic energy. The kinetic energy E sub k measured in joules of an object depends on the object's mass m measured in kilograms and the velocity v measured in meters per second and can be written as the equation v equals the square root of the quantity two times E sub k divided by m. Let's use this equation to solve an application problem. Here we're asked to determine the kinetic energy of an object with a mass of 500 kilograms that is traveling at 15 meters per second. So the given information is that the mass m equals 500 kilograms and the velocity v equals 15 meters per second. And we're asked to determine the kinetic energy, which means we need to solve the equation for E sub k. For the first step, we substitute 500 for m and 15 for v in our equation. Performing the substitution gives us the equation 15 equals the square root of two times E sub k divided by m, which is equal to 500. And now we need to solve this equation for E sub k to determine the kinetic energy. Because the square root is already isolated on one side of the equation, we will undo the square root by squaring both sides of the equation. On the left side, 15 squared equals 225. On the right side, squaring undoes the square root and we're left with two times E sub k divided by 500. And now to solve for E sub k or the kinetic energy, we could multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of two over 500, but instead, let's clear the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by 500. So we will multiply the right side by 500 and the left side by 500. On the left side, 225 times 500 equals 112,500. So we have 112,500 equals on the right side, 500 as a fraction is equal to 500 over one. Before multiplying, notice how we can simplify the common factor of 500 between the numerator and denominator. There's one 500 and 500 here as well as here. The right side simplifies to two times E sub K times one or just two times E sub K. And now to solve for E sub K, we divide both sides by two. Let's simplify the right side first. Two divided by two simplifies to one. One times E sub K is E sub K. E sub K is equal to 112,500 divided by two, which equals 56,250. And using these units, the kinetic energy is in joules. So now we know the kinetic energy of an object with a mass of 500 kilograms traveling at a velocity of 15 meters per second is 56,250 joules. I hope you found this helpful.